We are going to raise the staysail. Baggy wrinkles. We'll show you what that is. Best looking nav light I've ever seen in my entire life. It's beautiful. Getting back to the Davit project. You're coming too. What started as a dream is now our reality. Six years ago, we poured her ballast, raised every frame, cut every plank, and named her Red Aviva. Ready for life back on the ocean, this year we're determined yeah. to set sail. Would you look at that? I'd say that's the making of a fine cruising vessel. <laughs> We're Salt and Tar, and this is our life. We're happy to share, and thanks for joining us. There you are. My folks called and said oh, we had a package. Oh, that's really cool. Aw. Hi, Ruth and Garrett. Have fun playing with your new sail. I figured that Red Aviva was going to need a good deck bag for all <laughs> your sailing. Odds and, ends. Odds and ends, and thought you might appreciate this one. <laughs> yeah! That's awesome. Oh, yeah. oh he's got some black leather on here, and those Man. bronze hanks. Man. Those are really cool. Ooh. Oh, there he goes again. <laughs> 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 Gotta give every sail a good whiff. <laughs> <laughs> smells so good. Yeah, we'll wait probably to roll it out, but got some great bronze hanks. Oh, mom's getting in there. <laughs> yeah? You like I'm that? Trying to see what the attraction is. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like a new Mattel game, one of those board games to me. <laughs> Interesting. That's so sexy. Oh, I can't wait to roll it out. Oh, it's so smooth. I don't know if I've ever uh, felt brand new sail hanks. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, like, break multiple fingernails trying to open them. <laughs> oh, man. And then so so this is the luff, mm -hmm. and the bolt rope is inside the sail material. Super protected. So tight. Yeah. You can see yeah. the strands through the cloth. Yeah, that's impressive. Oh my goodness. It's one of the reef points. Oh wow. All that reinforcing. Are we having uh, two reefs for the staysail or? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the staysail is built really heavy and it's got a couple of reef points in it. So we'll fly this, we can fly this in really heavy wind. Nice. I love that he went with this like black leather. Yeah, I like the black. Yeah. Sharp. And so one of the big things that we'll have to do now that we have the staysail is uh, we still have to make the staysail boom. So we've mm. got we've got the timber, most likely, that we're gonna use? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, these grommets are so beautiful. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. We are going to raise the staysail. The staysail is our second sail out of four. And today we're joined by Michael, who's gonna help us make baggy wrinkles later on. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good? Yeah. Happy morning. Yeah, we're uh, we're dropping this 
bow spray down because we were thinking we might throw the staysail up just to look at it. I mean, we don't have yeah. the boom, but. Well, I was going to ask is, I mean, so what's the decision on boomed versus loose footed? Is it, um, could it go either way or? It could it... go either way. I like the boom just because it's, you know, self-tending yeah, and, right. and also since there's two reefs on the staysail. Oh, right. Um, so I can reef, reef it down onto the yeah. boom, which is really nice. As opposed to just having a bundle of cloth down there. Yeah. <laughs> you want to give her a sniff? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw go. This is the opportunity. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this davit down because I'm gonna work on it later, and it's got sharp pokey things on it. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Smells so good. <laughs> it does smell good. Funny, there's been a few people that smell it, and it's like I don't get it. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? It smells awesome. <laughs> yeah, my mom sniffed it last night, and she was like, I don't see what the hype's about. <laughs> It's the emotional yeah. Uh, connection. Yeah, you it. get it. Yeah. Something to attach to that. Um, it's just for so you can bundle the sail down because if you didn't have this, this allows it to kind of run down like that. Because if you didn't have this, all the hanks would just stack up and you have a fat, you know, big old ball up here. Yeah. New Hanks. It's so easy. They actually open and close. They have a nice snap. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> I presume. <laughs> there, there it is. is. Ruth, you want to find us just a little line to secure the attack? Uh, Alrighty. Well, it's right behind you, Ruth. Yeah, most fun. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Let it rip. <laughs> I wanted when we were talking um, we decided on building the uh, the main and the staysail very very heavy and then putting the you know two deep reefs in the staysail so this will, this will be your storm sail yeah yeah and then we'll probably also have like a, a trisail and maybe yep. a tiny wow. storm jib okay but um, but for most condition unless it's like real storm conditions yeah. But in most conditions, we'll just be able to run the uh, the deep reef staysail and yeah. the reef main, or even just a double uh, reef down mizzen and the right. reef staysail. One more sail. One step closer. It's the all important dock stair. Yeah. There's the staysail, and uh, now on to the real projects of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Project yeah. for next time. It's way too easy to just spend too much time standing on the dock and staring when you put a new sail up, yeah. or when any big change happens, really. Yeah. But, you know, we took our staring time. So, what's a baggy wrinkle? It's a mop head looking thing that's twisted around the shrouds to protect the sail from chafing. I'm sure there is one that you're supposed <laughs> to do. I just kind of made it up. So you double the line up and yep. just put a little a little loop yep. on the end. And then each one of these, I'll put measure, pull it out, measure it. But six I think I cut it to up. six inches. Yep. Um, yeah, and then you just string it up, pull it tight. Yep. Put a loop and pulled it through itself yep. Yep. Um, and then kept everything tight pulled in 
I don't know if really that's the best way to do it because they do loosen up a little bit. So if you have a better suggestion or a better idea, I'm like, just go for it. Mm -hmm. Once it's all done, you just kind of wrap it around right, like that and right. just wrap it all the way down. Yeah, it fits like perfectly between the wood, you know, between yeah, the rungs. Yeah, between the ratlins. Okay. Yeah. So it's about four feet, so. Okay. Cool. Yeah, wherever, wherever you want to set up. Do you want something to cut against? Piece of hardwood? Oh, that'd be great. The first step is deconstructing old line and cutting roughly six inch lengths to make the individual hairs of the baggy wrinkle. Then stringing up a taut line and get zen because there's nothing to it but time. You're the best, Michael. We got this mast, was it several years ago or something? From some friends that had a little wooden boat in the yard here and uh, unfortunately it was it was way too far gone and the boat ended up getting crushed but it had this nice mast on it and they were nice enough to give it to us so we could use it for you know various spars and whatnot on our boat. So we've just been kind of sitting on it for a couple of years we just stored it and now we're finally at the place where we're ready to to uh, look at it again and uh, we're gonna turn it into, for sure, we're gonna turn it into the um, the stasel boom. And hmm, <laughs> should we leave it a surprise what we're gonna do with the other half? <laughs> Maybe we Maybe. should. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So we're making a stasel boom out of it for sure. And uh, what's left over, you'll find out what it's gonna become. <laughs> <laughs> So first step is we're going to be cleaning up, taking off all of the old shrouds, all of the old fittings, and then we'll measure for the staysail boom, the foot, and uh, take it from there. rolling in uh, probably gonna start raining any second now the winds definitely already here so mark this up real quick just kind of oversize everything we're gonna lop it up so we can get it moved and get everything packed away before it starts duffing which I don't know looks like it's going to looks like it's already raining over there Bar on this end for our uh, stasel boom, and then we got a 20 foot spar on that end for our mystery spar, which you'll find out eventually. We got forced down below, and Garrett gave me a refresher on electrical. You know, this is all just personal preference, you'll find your own technique, I'm sure. But I just kind of like to hold it here and here to keep it pressed together. And you take these, go to the smallest setting, which is one, go on top of it. See that seam? Mm -hmm. Give it a crimp. Okay. And then it'll still, what really locks these in is uh, the heat. Yeah, the heat shrink. Because it's got glue inside of it too that's heat activated. So, yeah, once you heat shrink it down, it's like. Super solid. I've been refurbishing our navigation lights off and on, and with some weather rolling in, it was the perfect time to get back to it. Since this pair used to be oil lamps, we've gutted the electrical from another set and rewiring it, and switching it over to LED. While I'm busy with that, Garrett works on installing the platform for our deep freezer on some slides.
how's that look? Back more. Probably fine. Right. Best looking nav light I've ever seen in my entire life. It's beautiful. <laughs> Also try to secure our backrest with Velcro. Oh! <laughs> I tried to put the Velcro on, and it's so intense the <laughs> just ripped it off the wall. So staples it is. And the bulkhead was ready for a touch up on paint anyway. And then onto the other side, I changed it up with smaller pieces. I'll probably end up stitching the Velcro to the cushion as well. I also made the last pattern for the port quarter bunk cushions at this stage. Eventually, we'll design some sort of backrest that runs fore and aft as well. But for now, we have bigger projects to finish. And then it poured for 24 hours straight. Okay, so getting back to the Davit project, I got some steel. So now I'm kind of disassembled the pattern that I made and now I'm transferring it onto my steel. So this is going to be the port side. So got that. I just transferred my lines and where to drill my holes. So I'll cut this steel out. I'll kind of temporarily mount it here I'll throw some bolts through it then I'm going to take this and that's going to be this back piece which is going to get modified a little bit I'll take the rest of my pattern pieces my plywood pattern pieces and then I'll cut all of the the steel uh, pieces out and then I'll, I'll bolt the assembly on there and then I'll actually tack everything in place on the boat and then I'll take it off the boat and weld it fully. Yesterday was our first big storm of the season and it was pretty gnarly. The river was like, the river was insane. There's still like, I don't know if you can see right there. It's a fat log. <laughs> the mouth of the, of the river I'll take the camera over there in a bit, but it's just full of trees and logs and debris. So I got the uh, starboard side matched up with the port side now. Now I'm starting to work on these little backer plates. So I'm getting this kind of rough cut to size. I just ground the angle into this plate so it matches up pretty good. 
I'm gonna do the same for the other side. And once I get that done, then I'm gonna cut the gussets out for this and then clean all the pieces up and uh, tack all this in place. There's gonna be two like kind of big steel plates that go down here. And then there's gonna be a big, pretty thick piece of steel that ties up into this. And then that'll be gusseted up. Then it'll be, have some gussets down here too. That'll take, you know, obviously the, the davit's gonna wanna pull like this. And then there's gonna be backing plate in there that's heavily secured to the, there's a deck beam, a big deck beam here, and then a, another big beam here. So that backing plate will be secured onto those beams. And then this plate will be bolted straight through that backing plate. So all the, uh, all the tension pulling up will be transferred into those two big structural beams and then that tying into there. So any, any pull this way from the davits should be transferred straight down into those beams and uh, really just tie this whole thing together. That's the theory anyway. I got my spiffy little welding magnets set up and this is the gusset I'm gonna make. So I just need to get that angle right, put a line on there and then cut it to the right shape and then do the same on the other side and then clean these pieces up a little bit, get the, the mill scale off of them and then should be ready to tack it up. Good old stasel wrestling. Probably should have done that in a less dumb way. <laughs> and it was just floating right behind our boat all day yesterday. Nice. Like the tide was coming in, it kind of like went out that way, and the tide switched and started coming back this way, and it was just hanging out there. I'm like, hmm, I could lasso that. Make some good lumber out of it. <laughs> oh, I was making gigantic jibboom to go off of our bowsprit, so our bowsprit's like, so it sticks like 20 feet off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> then I will, what will I do?